New and experienced users of Autodesk Inventor both use the trim and extend command in the sketching environment. But from my experience, very few users are taking advantage of time-saving trim and extend options. In our first example, we're going to take a look at the typical use of the trim extend commands. We're going to expand on these, showing how to use specific termination points for extend and trim, and also shift and right click options. Once you activated the sketch, on the modify panel, this is where you can locate the trim and extend command. I'm going to start off by using the extend command. Going to extend the line out to the outer circle, and to do that, the default behavior is I need to click that line three times to extend it out. However, if you hold down the control key and select the termination line, and then select the line you wish to extend, you can extend directly to the maximum extents that you wish. Now, while the extend command is activated, and if I hover over a line, you can see it's going to extend out to the next termination. However, if you hold down the shift key, this will change it from an extend to a trim operation as long as that shift key is held down. Now if you wish to toggle between extend and trim permanently from the right click options I can choose the trim command in this case. Now I want to trim out this line through the middle and you can see it takes several clicks to do so. However, again, if I use the control option, I can select the termination and just pick the line I wish to remove. The dynamic trim and extend command allows the user to continuously trim lines or extend them while the left mouse button is being held down. To dynamically trim in a sketch, Simply click on the trim command and left click and hold an open space and drag your cursor across any unwanted geometry. You can see it's very quick and easy to remove this geometry. This also can be applied to the extend command. Just keep in mind when extending geometry, you want to be on the side that's closest to the direction that you want to extend it. So you can see here the direction of the extend. So I want to make sure that I'm going to be on the right side of all these lines as I left click in space and drag this across all the lines, let go, and all those lines will be extended for me.